Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. Today I want to talk about Elliott Waves as well and I started to um, yeah, basically carry out a Elliott Wave analysis for Solana as well as I've done it for Cardano and Bitcoin. Um, and as you might know if you've been following me on my channel, um, the Cardano videos with the Elliott Wave analysis, they have been the most accurate ones in my view. Um, so I did uh, decide to start with Solana as well because I'm particularly interested in this cryptocurrency as well. Questions have come up, why is Cardano going down a little bit? Well, that's completely normal at the moment. And I mentioned that in my previous video that um, I think we come back to that trend line where we currently exactly have come down to. And I wanna start with this basic analysis, then we take a look at the Elliott waves as well. Now, currently, you know, we're trading at 235. We already came all the way up to 260. And for me, my next target level is anyway here the 272 basically that's the you know after this move that will be the next main one to the upside here um because that's the 1.272 extension level after which we then can go all the way up to um possibly the 1.618 but um the Elliott waves actually have come uh, have allowed me to come to a different conclusion i'll get to that in a moment um but these are the main the main um fibonacci levels to which the price has adhered really well if I make that a little bit larger, you can see that we have come back down here to the 0.5 FIB level at $120. Then we've climbed up the ladder to the 0.382 FIB level at $143. Then we've climbed up the ladder to the next FIB level at $176, which is the 0.214. And then we've actually made a new all-time high here. Um, and yeah, we're climbing up the ladder. Currently, obviously it was overheated, you know, we were overbought. You can see that here on the daily uh, where we came all the way up into the overbought range. Someone asked today, why is the price retracing? Well, that's the explanation because everything is running in waves anyway. So you get the ups and downs and um, nothing can all the way go up. So please understand that it, it all goes in waves. Um, nothing can go up all the time. There will always be retracements because people take profits and that's just the natural market sentiment that is happening. Um, so it's all the breathing in and breathing out that is completely normal that has to happen and when you get in the, into the overboard range here above the 70 of the rsi you have to come down again that is completely normal and um so that is where we are currently adhering to that trend line currently and um i think from here we could bounce off but we might actually come down a little bit lower and uh, i've come to that conclusion with the elliott wave count so where we currently are here is um, I just showed you down here when we were at the $120 level, which is also that 0.5 FIB level of the main 0.5 FIB level that you saw here on the chart, $120. Yeah, um, that was the beginning of a new wave one, a small wave one. And yeah, then we've come down in a wave two, which was here on the 12th of October. Then we've come all the way up to a wave three at $218 on the 25th of October come down to around 179 on the 28th of October and now we've moved up in a wave five um, to which is yeah basically which was the high here at $260 roughly and this was yeah basically the wave five a small wave five okay so if you don't know what the Elliott waves are I mentioned in previous videos basically the most basic impulsive move in the Elliott wave um method yeah basically it says that everything runs in cycles five wave structure into the trend direction so we've got a wave one to the upside a wave two to the downside a wave three to the upside a wave four to the downside a wave five to the upside after which you get a correction and it's uh you, you get these waves within waves so i give you an example we have here you see that pink wave one here yeah that was um, the next higher level because you get basically one of these waves that I've shown you here. For example, that wave three from two to three, that again consists of a wave one, two, three, four, five. But you can go smaller and smaller, but at some point it gets too complex. So, and at some point it's not practical anymore. So basically here that pink wave one, then we came down on a pink wave two. And that yellow wave five here is part so the, this yellow wave structure here, one, two, three, four, five, is part of the pink wave three, yeah? And basically, after that pink wave three, you get a pink wave four, in which we are currently developing, yeah? And based on the Elliott wave method ideal targets, we would have to come down into this yellow box area, basically between $191 
and around 230 yeah so somewhere here we would land based on elliot waves yeah elliot wave method from here then we would this is the wave four so basically a corrective wave after that we would come all the way up here in a pink wave five which would also be the final wave five after which we would then have a more uh yeah more significant correction that doesn't mean we go into a bear market but it's just a more significant correction now this would be somewhere between 310 and 320 dollars yeah after which we would come down somewhere into um, another move yeah in a uh, because this as well so this completion of a pink wave five is also the uh, beginning of a new wave one a larger scale wave one yeah which started down here at 120 dollars and basically then in the wave two which because this is a wave one here that that pink uh, purple sorry that purple wave one from that purple wave one you would come down then in a corrective wave two which could come down all the way down to the beginning of that purple wave one so you could come down all the way down to 120 dollars roughly um at a maximum yeah not not further down yeah um, otherwise it would invalidate that whole count here and i would say we wouldn't come down further and from here then you would go all the way up into a wave three and that wave three then would give you basically targets uh, or that move up here in let's call it medium term yeah i think in this bull market we would talk about prices of around 650 dollars um in my view that is uh solana and yeah basically what i expect now is so immediate a, a little bit further coming down yeah into that yellow box area from here then we would start a new wave five yeah that pink wave five and um yeah again that would be above 300 dollars so it would be quite a bit of a move up from where we currently are let's say we drop a little bit more maybe um, just below 230 and from here then into that box area that that's another 40 percent um easy money now that's not guaranteed to play out i need to say that as well but so far my uh, the elliot wave counts on crypto i think they work exceptionally well on crypto and also they have been very accurate um it's just something to i, I want to add to give you a little bit more value um but as I said, please always take it with a pinch of salt. Um, still, it would make sense to, to go up once more now in this move. At some point also Bitcoin needs to correct once more. Yeah, that would work quite well as well together with the Bitcoin Elliott wave count. So um, that would also give us more power, more energy, more steam to move up um, into new all time high areas within this bull market. Because if we go up too fast, then I think the bull market will be over quickly. However, another correction would give us the yeah, the possibility to move up uh, even higher. So hopefully you liked that update video about Solana. If you did, please smash the like button. And if you want to follow me on this crypto journey, please subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.